watching Melody Lane With me you're gonna have a great crafting time a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Sharon, Angie, Lori, Teria, Nina, Michelle, Janice, Brenda, Jennifer, Carrie, Samantha, Louise, Melissa, Jenny, Tina, David, Leilani, Patricia, Robin, Ellen, Pamela, Jennifer, Denise, Jeanette, Jennifer, Dee Dee, Cindy, Paula, Jeanette, Barbara, Shirley, Michelle, Robin, Wilma, Lisa, Christina, Mary Lou, and Crystal. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Good morning. Hi, everybody. Um... Welcome to my channel if you are new. Today we are live on YouTube, we are live on Twitch, and we are live in my Facebook group, Cricket Joy Machine and Projects. I thought we would go there because there's a lot of new people to Cricket that purchase the joy and they need to learn how to use the machine, but yet first they need to learn how to use Design Space because Design Space is the secret to knowing how to use our Cricut machines because it controls everything. Once we learn Design Space and learn all the features and everything, we can create anything we want to create, right? You can make anything as long as you know how to use Design Space. And it's very simple once you know how you have to play with it. I also want to say the best way to learn Design Space is to watch these videos, pause them, and then follow along and do what I show you how to do, and then start the video again. Of course, you can't do that in the live, um, but you can once the live is over. And I am also having somebody put in all the timestamps below. So if you're watching the replay, you can look in the description maybe not today, maybe tomorrow or tonight, um, there'll be a, in the description links for you to, like if we go over welding, you can look down there and click right to welding. And you don't have to watch this hour long class to learn how to weld if that's what you're looking for. Thank you, Suzanne. Um, so look for that. I We've been adding that to most of my past videos. So anything you wanna learn in design spaces in, I have over a hundred design space classes on my channel, so there's tons of those. Um, Alex is sleeping from driving last night. Alex is here, but he's still in bed. Uh, neither one of us got to bed before two o'clock, so I'm letting him sleep. Um, so today we have a few things to go over. There's giveaways, big giveaways small giveaways. Every week I have been doing a $15 giveaway. If you are live, you get to enter that giveaway. I have also added another giveaway if you're not live, if you're watching the replay. You can enter this at any time. And once you enter, you'll always be entered, always. So you can enter as many times as you like. Um, what I ask you to do is share a video. Let me show you how to do that one. Then we're gonna tell you about the big giveaway. Thank you, Barb West, for the Super Chat. The Super Chats is one reason I do my giveaways. You guys are so generous. I wanna be generous right back to you guys. And that's why I started doing giveaways every week in the Design Space classes. Thank you so much. And everyone else thanks you too, because it helps support the giveaways. Okay, let's go here. Um, designs, no, where am I going? Oh, here we go. This is my YouTube channel. Hopefully this will be updated soon. But uh, to enter this giveaway, the second giveaway, you win $25 cash through PayPal or Amazon gift card, whatever you choose. And all you have to do is watch one of my videos or go to a video you have watched in the past Getting ready for back. There's an ad. 
I don't ha I don't watch ads because I have YouTube Red, but on this one I'm on incognito, and I'll show you why in a few minutes. Uh, okay, let's scroll down. Okay, when you get to this area, you can see the share button. So all you have to do is click the share button. You can copy this link and paste it anywhere you like on social media, or you can click one of these and share it on social media. But what I want you to share is, and I'm gonna show you the winner of last week and how she did it, so you'll see that. What I want you to share is hashtag what I learned melody, and I'm gonna write that in the chat. Um, hashtag what I learned melody and tell us what you learned. Okay. Do we want do we wanna see the winner? Okay, let me find the picture. I took a screenshot. Okay, this one was chosen from Twitter. Chris Reinhardt, you are the winner. So uh, contact me through melodylaneinspired.com and we'll get you your $25. So she used the hashtag what I learned Melody. She shared the video and told us what she learned. Now you do not have to do a big paragraph like this. You can just say a, a few things or one thing that you've learned during that video. Now you get one entry per video you share. So don't just share the same video everywhere, share a different video and what you learned. Does that make sense? So congrats, Chris, and um, I'll try to contact you too if you don't see this video, contact me. All right, um, we are doing, um, hold on, I'm lost. Here I am. We are doing question and answer today for Design Space. If you have questions about Design Space, please put them in the chat in all caps. That helps a lot when it's all caps. And if you're on Facebook, add your name to the comment because we can't see your name. Um, so if you have questions or it's best if you're watching on Facebook to come over to YouTube because we, uh, you can see all the other great chat. Um, I guess that's it. Should we get started? Make sure your questions are in caps. Go ahead and start adding your questions and we'll get them answered. Let's go over to Design Space. And what I like to start out with is what's new in Design Space. So I'm going to go to uh, Images. Uh, Linda, I see your question. Need help with Slice? I need more detailed. I need to know what's wrong with Slice. I have showed Slice many times. So I need to know um, how to do what you what you need help with. Why is Slice not working? Or uh, We will go over Slice. Okay, so I just clicked images and I'm going to go to image sets to see what's new. And these are not new, so we're going to scroll down to the new ones. Look, welcome to the classroom decor. 38 images. I'm gonna click on these real fast. I don't know if these are print or not. I guess they're not. They kind of look print, don't they? These are awesome for teachers. This has first grade, but then it also has every other grade up to 10th grade. Awesome, awesome. Okay, um, tropical classroom decor, 17 images, that's fun. Jungle classroom decor, travel classroom decor, simple geometric frames. These are great because they're in drawing and cutting. So you can cut it out and do it with vinyl or paper and then you can also draw fruit from the tree. 
Botanical tile stencils. Did we go over these last time? Running t-shirts, tile stencils. I think we did. Because you could contour out these. Uh, do it, Should we just go over that question, what is contour? Should we just do that? Let's do that. We're just going to make that be our first question, even though I don't know if anyone's asked about it yet. Do, do, do. Okay. I don't know why I can't decide on what to use. It's not like I'm going to use it on anything. Oh, I didn't know I had clicked on this one. Oh, look, a hall pass. You can make your own hall pass. Okay, I'm not sure if it will work on this one. Hold on, we're going to contour this to try to get the opposite. So, like, this is what they're saying is a stent. And I'm going to just click the big square and make it like that. So if you wanted to cut out with vinyl, I almost said iron on, but I guess you could iron this onto something. Oh, maybe a pillow. I mean, I, do you guys ever do this and just kind of play in design space? Like we could do that. Let's make this smaller. I could duplicate those. Just group them so I can move them together. Do that. So you can make a smaller let me group all these. So I took that design and made a smaller design. So if you wanted to do that, you could do that. Like, the, you do not have to use the designs in design space as they are. You can edit them. That's what the fun part is for me. I think it's fun to change things, to take their images and change them around and do what you want. I just got an idea. Watch this. Okay, we're going to weld this. Now, okay, let's go over weld real fast. I know it'll be a question. Okay, so we have a group together, but let's click make it. That is not what I wanted. I want it to cut out all together, okay? So grouping does not do anything on the cut screen. It does nothing. Look at, uh, there's four layers here, right? Once we weld them, it turns it into one image. So I'm gonna click weld, it's one image. Now you cannot unweld. You, you just can't do that, you can undo. But once you save it, you can't unweld. So before you weld things, I suggest you duplicate it and then hide it. Oh, I'll go ahead and show you. Um, whoops, still welded. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna duplicate it, and then I can hide it right here in the layers panel. So if I ever wanna come back to it, I can. Now I'm gonna weld this and I'm going to click make it to see what happens. Yep, that's what I wanted. But I got an idea. If you wanted to do a monogram in here. So what you could do. Make this so I can see which one it is. Wow, oh, how did it know that's the one I wanted? You can click on all of these. And I'm going to get to your questions in a minute. I just got excited for a second. Okay, it has those four spots. I can get rid of those. They're probably at the bottom. Hopefully. Yeah. Actually, we're just going to get rid of them. All these tiny spots, they're what's in between. I think yeah okay so now we have a clean center 
And we could put a letter in there. You know, maybe a fancier letter, but you know what I mean? Um, okay, you can't tell that's an S. And we're just going to weld it in. Okay. Did, is that cool? Has anybody learned anything yet? I know my uh, people that are here every week have not learned anything yet. Okay. I'm going to get to your questions now. Lots of questions. Okay. Okay. How do I design on the internet instead of my desktop? The desktop is still on the internet. Um, so anytime your computer is hooked up to the internet, it is connected. If you do not have internet on your desktop, then it will work without internet if you have downloaded projects when they were. Um, what are the upgrades in 5.11.57? There are no upgrades that you will notice. Okay, instead of you guys staring at the screen, you can stare at me reading. Um, how do you really know when to mirror a project? Great question. Um, you're going to mirror a project anytime you're going to place it on backwards. Like if you're going to use iron on because you cut it upside down, you have to mirror it. So anytime you're using iron on, you have to mirror. There are a few cases when printable iron on is cut right side up, I think then you don't have to, but most of the time with iron on, even printable iron on, you cut, you cut um, on the back of it so you want to mirror. If you're putting something on a window and you're putting it through the window, say I want to put a little something on my front door window, then and I want to put it on the inside of the window, then I would put it backwards so I can stick it to the window and it will read correctly from the outside. But just remember, anytime you use iron on or, you know, infusible ink, because you're ironing it on and you're cutting the back of it, then you would need to mirror. Uh, what does contour do? Does it take up parts of the images? So I just showed contour. So I hope you understand contour from what I just showed. You click on pieces and it will delete each cut. Um, there a vinyl or sticker paper that I can do with my maker? Yes. There's any kind of vinyl or sticker paper you can use with your maker. Uh, how do I make a Bobbit fit from Star Wars to use on a card? There are always too many pieces. Um, I'm not sure what image that would be. Uh, if there's too many pieces, it's usually not made for a card. It's made for iron-on or vinyl. Um, or if it's an SVG from somewhere else, they usually make those in a lot of pieces because a lot of people don't correctly know how to make an SVG and they just use the converter pictures to an SVG and it just makes a million pieces and those are not good SVGs. Design Space doesn't like them because 
it, it really slows down design space. It makes them into tiny little pieces. Um, when there's a lot of pieces, does the, I can't think of an image that one. Let me show you how Design Space does it. So it has a tons of pieces, but they're um, not, you don't have to put on tiny little pieces. You just layer the paper. It's really easy. Um, oh, not projects, images. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't want to be in image sets. I don't know what image set it is. There's a thank you card and a hello card that I'm thinking of that I can show you. There's lots of other ones too. I've made some files too that I can show you how they work. There it is. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go to the image set. Because these are awesome. Uh, I, I'm going to show you this one because look at all these little holes it has. We don't need that. Okay. It's going to break them both in. Okay, so we're gonna ungroup this. So the best things to do, oh, and I also wanna answer your question and say, when it has a million pieces, make it out of vinyl and stick it on a card. I use vinyl on cards all the time. So this one, it also has drawing and stuff on it. But when I pull these apart, see how they go? Like, I'm not, like you might think, this is all littler pieces, or you have to put this green in here, this blue, this orange. You have to place that piece right there. You don't. Pull that away. So they're just all stacked together. So you don't have little pieces. Remember how that orange piece was a little piece over here? Right there? You don't have to worry about that little piece and the little dots in here. It also makes it fun because it stacks it up and makes it thicker. And then these are cut through this and you stick that behind there to get that. Okay, let me go over some more questions. How do you find contour when it's not showing in the taskbar? Um, okay, contour is always down here. But if you are on an iPad, it will, it will always be there. It's grayed out because I don't have anything selected. Now, if I select this pink one, it's still grayed out because there is no cut on here to get rid of. There's nothing to, you cannot turn off every cut. If you wanted to do that, you would just hide it or delete it. Now on this one, it is on because I have little cuts in here. So I'll click this. You have to have more than one cut. So I have these, I could click on these. I could click on the O there. And then it has those cuts. So the reason it's not showing up is because you don't have something to do. This one, it has the center of the O is another cut. See, it has two. This one, it only has the outside cut. Um,
Can you make a cut image into a print image? Let's just get rid of all this and start over. Can you make a cut image into a print and cut image? Of course you can. Um, let's just go here. Let's do it to the B. Let's grab this B. So this is a cut image. It has three different layers. If I want to make it a print and cut, all I have to do is have this selected and click flatten. Now it's a print and cut. So it says cut and print. And when I go to make it, it'll have a square around it and it will cut around it. Now, let's unflatten it. Let's say you want to change the colors. So you can click over here and then under fill, you can change the color. And then you can flatten. Now it's three different layers that will print separately. See like that? You can't even see the white one. Um, because it's not flattened. So if we flatten, it'll do this. Now the flat flatten button makes everything print. Uh, I've seen questions in Design Space group that uh, how I'm flattening it and it's making it print. That's what it does. Um, let's unflatten again. If you want to add, let's add a print. Hold on. Where's the, I just want to click on that. Oh, I have to click the little square next to it to go to advanced. Oh, I want to do a pattern. So to do a pattern, select it. Next to print, click the little square. Click this little arrow, go to pattern. And I'm going to add this one. This takes a while to fill in the pattern. So I'm going to go to another question. Um, I would let see how it did the pattern. Okay. Um, are they in order? The videos in order of, let's just go to my channel for beginners. So if you're a beginner and you need design space class, Design Space Class 2020. So these are the ones starting in 2020. This one may be 19. I'm not sure if this was the first one in January or not. But this one is for beginners. So I have it starting with this one. You can click Play All and it will show you all of my videos. If you Remember that. Okay. We're not going to be watching ads. If you... Uh, Click on this. If you are subscribed and logged into YouTube, it will leave off where you left off. It will, when you stop watching, when you go back to the video, it'll start off where you stopped. So make sure you have a YouTube account. It's free and it's free to subscribe. Um, but this is for beginners and all the videos I show you are not difficult. And the best way to learn is to stop the video and start again. Okay, let me go over a few more questions. You cannot combine two separate design space projects together. How can you tell which maker blade is different? All of the quick swap housing blades let me grab them. Have a number on them. So this one has O2. It's the double. Can you see that? That's kind of blurry. Um, they have a number on them. The knife blade 
does not, or the rotary blade. A lot of people get this rotary blade confused with the scoring wheel. This is not a scoring wheel. This is a blade. Scoring wheels are not sharp. This is sharp. This comes with every single maker. Everybody that has a maker has this unless they lost it. It comes with every single maker. And it it's the only one that has looks anything like that. It's the rotary blade. And then the knife blade is really easy. It's a knife blade. Looks like an X-Acto knife. And then all of the blades in, like this are the same, except for the black one. It's pretty much the same. It's just a little shorter and the blade is better for intricate cuts on the black one. I couldn't weld the letters from Alexis Maddow, why? Um, um, you cannot combine two separate projects. Okay, let's go find Alexis Maddow. How do they spell? That's not it. I can't think today. Alexis. Okay. I have found out that a lot of people think that once you weld this, it should put the letters together. That's not the case. So I'm gonna undo that. You have to put the letters together. So we're going to go to letter spacing. Now I have the E and the L together really good, but these are not. So what I'm gonna do next is ungroup to letters. I'm gonna select the D. I'm gonna use my keyboard on my, uh, or the arrow key on my keyboard and scoot these over. The reason I'm scooting them over that way is so they don't go up and down. I could also use my mouse and use the shift key and move it sideways and it won't go up and down either. Whoops. Because I had my shift key, it selected both of them. And if you want this one, this one's not quite touching. You could scoot it over a little. Oh, and you know what? Because so we can see this better, we're going to make these yellow. Okay, so let's zoom in. Do you see these marks here? If we were to go cut this, well, let's look. Let's hit make it. Okay. That's not what we want, right? If we were to attach these, it will then look kind of right on our mat, but those cut lines are still there. That means they're gonna cut. They're gonna cut from each letter. So they're even gonna cut like inside, I'll show you. Like this D, it goes up into here a little bit. It's gonna cut up in there. It's gonna cut this all up into ugly little pieces. There is no need to attach this because we're welding it. So we're gonna select that and we're going to weld. Now look at the layers panel before we weld. See all these letters? They're all on their own level. And remember these lines here? So now we're gonna weld and see how the lines went away and it put them all in one word. This is no longer text. This is now an image and you cannot change the font or anything like that once it's welded.
Tony says ads are popping up a lot more. Never had this problem except at the beginning. Um, I don't think they're in live videos. And it's YouTube that controls the ads. I have no control over the ads. Yeah, the black housing is the deep point blade. The makers do go on sale. They were on sale a few months ago for $2.99. Uh, uploading your own pattern? Yes, I've showed that a few classes ago. All you have to do to upload a pattern and this pattern on the B, this is my pattern I uploaded. Um, I can also edit the pattern. A lot, these are all my patterns I uploaded. All of these are. <laughs> They're my digital paper. I uploaded my picture, my son. You can edit the pattern. So you can make it bigger. Um, you can flip it. This is like an ombre color um, digital paper with bricks and stuff. So by flipping it, you get different colors. Um, he has bricks, has wings. Okay, I'm reading your chat. How can you print on two crickets at the same time? You um, have one set up through the cord and one through Bluetooth or one through your phone. I like to have a housing for each blade. It's just my personal opinion. Oh, I was going to show you how to upload your own pattern. So you click right here in the upload button. And then you just click here. Upload pattern. And then you browse your computer and upload a pattern. It's really easy. You just click that and it'll choose a picture on your computer. If you can't comment on YouTube, then it's because you don't have a YouTube account or you're not logged in. Uh, Joanne, there is no way to delete a pattern in Design Space at this moment that I can tell. Are there ads playing in the live video? I'm really sorry the video is freezing. Which blades are better for the fine point? The fine point blades are they the replacement blades have a red or white cap never a gray cap the gray caps are for the very old machines there are ads playing in the live video every three minutes are you serious oh 
YouTube. You have to stop that. Thank you for subscribing. Let me... See... If there's a way for me to turn that off. And um, next we are going to do opening viewer mail. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys. Did I show you the giveaway? I didn't. Um, I wanted to show you how to enter my giveaway. Hold on a second. Let me see if we can if I can turn off ads no I can't hear this is ridiculous if you get into ads every three minutes they've never done that before that I know of Nope, that's not doing it. It doesn't let me control the videos anymore, the ads. What is your address for viewer mail? Okay. Guys, stay because we're going to do a giveaway in a few minutes. Um, and to be entered into the giveaway, you have to say something in the chat. But I am going to show you my address for viewer mail. Next month, it may not be on the first Saturday of the month. It always is on the first Saturday of the month. Um, I think the answer is in here. Where do you send viewer mail? You guys can't see it. It's all the way at the bottom. Let me see if I can move this up and then scroll. Hold on. There we go. Where do I send viewer mail? So you go to melodylaneinspired.com and then click on the FAQ and I'm going to show you how to enter. Okay, I got to scroll down more. Why is it? There it is. <laughs> um, there's my address right there to send viewer mail. Uh, and to enter my giveaway... You go to what's happening, click on the blog, click on the blog title. I am giving away a joy machine, $150 worth of iron on and $150 worth of paper to three different winners. So this information is telling you about my giveaways, about my discount code, um, about Patreon and how you can get all the benefits and all the projects and about my video schedule and about my all day virtual crop coming up and then the prizes to choose from and how to enter. How to enter is you have to leave a comment. Some people are going all the way down here and leaving a comment here. This is the contact me information. The winner will not be chosen from this. 
The winner will only be chosen from the comments. So a lot of people don't know how to leave a comment. You have to click login. If you've never been here before, or if you've been here before and you're not signed in, you will always see this login. Now, if you've never been here, you can sign up. You can sign up through email. You can sign up through Facebook or through Google. I suggest signing in through Facebook or Google. I find that would be the easiest. And if you have to come back and do it, you can just click Facebook or Google again, and you don't have to put in any other information. Um, so once you're signed in, uh, log in with email. I think this is my password. Oh, it is. Once you're signed in, then you can leave a comment. And the comment has to be that you shared this post because to enter, you have to share the post. You have to add enter to win in the post. So just commenting is not entering. You have to either, you can click this, copy this link, share it on social media, you can just click the Facebook link and now this wants me to log in because I'm in incognito window, but normally it would. Thank you, Jessica. Um, let me go here to this one and let me. So here it's going to do it. I'm going to put hashtag enter to win you don't have to put anything i said enter to win but didn't type the two you don't have to put anything else that's all you have to do share it on facebook you can put it into a group or anything you want post to facebook then i'm going to come here and say i uh shared on Facebook. Don't worry if my name gets drawn, I'm not going to be a winner. I would love to win the joy. Wouldn't that be great to give someone for Christmas if you already have one? And then publish. Don't worry if my name's picked, I, I will pick another one. <laughs> okay, do we have any questions on how to do that? What if you don't have Facebook? Then uh, you can share it on Twitter or Instagram. It's under the What's Happening tab. So at the top of the What's Happening tab, it has all my videos each week. We have viewer mail this week, today. What's happening in the month, and then it has all my blog posts. Uh, this is pinned to the top, and then the sale ad is also pinned, so if you need uh, to know the Cricut sales, you have that. And then all the rest of the things. Then you have contact, and then my videos at the bottom. Uh, bless mom, I don't know what you mean sharing on text work. You can copy the link and paste it somewhere. What if someone doesn't Twitter or Instagram or Facebook? Then I guess you can't enter. I don't know. I highly suggest if you don't Facebook that you do Facebook 
if it's even only for the crafting groups. To get to your page, we must use our browser. Yeah, to get to Melody Lane Inspired. It's not in Facebook. Yeah, you can usually click skip the ads. Okay. For my next video, I'm going to be, I'm going to click to a different internet. Yeah, there's a ton of info on Facebook. Some people are afraid of Facebook. I'm not quite sure why, but if you don't want yourself being out there, you don't have to put your own information. You can go by your middle name. You don't have to put your own last name. And you can choose to do that just for the craftiness that you can learn. You learn so much from the cricket groups. Will DSB fix so your cards are not loaded as saved as private? You can open all of my projects if you open them in the browser hopefully they're going to release a new update this week that will be amazing new things are coming and hopefully that private issue when sharing files will be fixed okay let's go ahead and choose a winner so go into the chat and hit something on Facebook, YouTube. Okay, let's have Nightbot do it. We have a winner. Do you guys want to see who the winner is? We're not going to make this video go on so much longer because I don't know what's happening with the internet and all those ads. Um, Crystal Jones is the winner. So Crystal, you are the winner. Crystal has a message. Do you have any insight on how to talk with a Cricut consultant? I'm not sure what you mean. Um, if you want me to delay anything to them, I can do that. I am a Cricut product expert. Um, wow, that sun is bright. So Crystal, message me through my contact on my website and let me know if you want PayPal or Amazon and I need the email you use for those.
And next we're going to do viewer mail. And I am going to switch to a different internet and see what I can do about turning off the ads. Carmen says, please, I never win anything in my life. What you say becomes true. So the people that say, I never win or I'm never going to win, you won't ever win. You have to believe that you will win. And you have to be excited when other people win and be happy for them. If you give out good energy for somebody that's winning, that's going to draw that good energy towards you to win. So anytime you see somebody else have something you want, don't be jealous. Be excited and happy for them. And that will bring happy and good things like that towards you. I may sound like a kook. You may think I'm crazy, but I know this is how it works. I know through experience this is how it works. Okay. Yes, there's lots of power in words. Sheila says, you are crazy, but I love you. I love you too, Sheila. Tracy says, I think being supportive of winners makes me feel great. I think it does too. Anytime you can feel good for somebody else, never feel upset or sad because somebody else won instead of you. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm really sorry about the internet issues and I'm really sorry about the ads. Um... I'm going to switch to a different internet for my next video. We have viewer mail. Um, there's some of it. There's not a whole lot this time. So uh, we'll open some viewer mail. We'll have a little chat. Um, and we will talk to you in a few minutes. Bye, guys.